Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. Last time out was a very emotional one. Eli spoke to his great grandson or great great grandson. I'm not really sure what the uh, the exact relation is there. Um, but we did manage to get a key to Jason Grant's office. Now um, we're trying to figure out um, a code, I think. Uh, and the, the clue was the price of two coffees, which we've worked out is five dollars. Um, there was also the flower pots on the roof, which we figured out was four after that scene. So now we just need Jason's favourite wine, and I'm guessing we will probably get the answer to that in his office somewhere. So let's go back to his office. Um, we'll use the key, uh, which I think this door was locked, wasn't it? So uh, we've also got this this thing here, uh, emails. Um, Travis's card so let's open this up and hopefully we might find a clue for the the last number oh okay we're getting another flashback isn't my son beautiful <clears throat> is that the baby thank you Mel Carissa for arranging all this for me it means more to me than you know you're insane I'm insane this whole thing was insane insane Mr. Grant is it insane to want a child a oh. legacy I have to stop you. I need to stop you. Uh, it's too late, Jason. You should have thought of that months ago, Jason. So much for Mr. Big Bad CEO. You're pathetic. I feel like we should go for these sorts of options, given the role-playing aspect. You manipulated an old man at his most vulnerable. Who's the pathetic one? And what are you doing here anyway? I still don't understand what you want. That is a good question. Now, now, Mr. Grant. Mel Carissa's reasons are her own. But you, you still owe me a favor. No, we kidnapped a child for you. I don't owe you a damn thing. Not anymore. Remember what I did for your precious firm, Mr. Grant? Manipulating global markets. Adjusting Ooh. the ebb and flow of transactions. Sending them all to your coffers. All without tripping any alarms. Quite an achievement if I do say so myself. So yes, Mr. Grant, you still owe me a favor. Hmm. What do you want now? I want the firm, Mr. Grant. Full ownership. You can keep the office. Ah. Consider it a gift. So that's how it happened. Fine. Fine. I don't deserve it anymore. It stopped being mine a long time ago. It is done! Indeed, it is a fine empire. And one day, my son, it will all be yours. Wow. Deals with the Fae. Will Mundanes ever learn? Well, so it looks like basically that the Fae just wanted to steal the child to raise as its own, which is not what I expected it all to be about. But um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a bottle in here. It's locked. Uh, I don't suppose this opens. I'm not it. sure what you're trying to do there. No. All right, so we're going to have to get into there. <clears throat> Anything else around here? An old-fashioned blotter. Ah, is that a key? Very pressable button embedded in the desk. Ah, <gasps> a safe. Nice. Okay, fine. Let's uh, let's have a look at this. Okay. So, what's the first number? Ah, so this is this is the thing we need the third number for. Can we quit this? And the second? We don't know the second yet. Um. Okay, so what's the third? Third one is four. Nope, that didn't work. No, so we're gonna need to to open this up. So it's locked. Can Mandana open this up? Sometimes she can get into things. Yep, here we go. Perfect. It is done. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, well, you could see that in the flashback. With that. That's a 1934 hot Brian. 1934. That was worth over two thousand dollars. I wow. don't see why. It was a good year, but not a particularly stellar one. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> we weren't around then. Uh, fine. So 1934. So let's um. Okay. So what's the first number? I'm guessing we we leave the 34 out. So the first number was five. It was the two coffees. And the second. Uh, yeah, there's no 19, so it's going to be 34. Okay, so what's the third? And then four. We're in! Yes! All right. Uh, heavy Duty Safe is now open. Blue key card. Can we click anything else? I here? do not see how that would be useful. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't trying to use it on there. I was just trying to see if there's anything else we can do around this thing. 
doesn't look like it. <clears throat> so we've got a key card. Wow, we've got a lot of items. I think this is the most items we've had full stop in this game. At any one time, anyway. So I'm, I think, if I remember right, the key card is for the elevator, right? Because there's like a swipe thing on here. Yeah, here. So let's... Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, there we go. That was unexpected. Why did it shake like so that? Now, <clears throat> the elevator's moving, so I guess it's fine. Yes, for now. Okay. Please. Eli, you are aware there are 30 floors in this building, correct? Yep, that's right. So we go into the basement or something, you I'm guessing? You are also aware we passed the 30th floor several minutes ago? Oh. That's also right. Is it some sort of magic yeah. elevator? <gasps> I think it is, you know. <clears throat> Whoa, it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at the end of the uh, the glass elevator. <gasps> What's this place? A pocket realm above the city. Ooh, is this the pocket I realm we've been looking for? This. It has been here for months. Okay, this could well, be the. We've been busy, and we're here now. This could be the. That we are. The child should be nearby. Let us move. I wonder if this is the pocket realm we've been searching for. Could well be, right? God, this is some view from up here. Alright, let's head along. Oh, <gasps> they're here. There you go. <coughs> All tucked in. Daddy has a meeting to attend to. You be good. You hear? Childminder, come forth. Ooh. Good evening, Mr. Goodman. An ice person. I have business to attend to. Please watch over my son until I return. Of course. I'll have everything shipshape and Bristol fashion upon your return. Well, we know how to deal with ice, right? Engaging <coughs> comfort mode. <laughs> Why is it, like, robotic? There, there. There, there. Okay, well. Shush, shush, be quiet. Ice creature gaze protectively over the baby. The baby looks cosy, so he went through here. I'm detecting and a sword. Yeah, we'll melt you. No, this will not do. Leave immediately. Look, lady. <gasps> Lethal force is authorized. Right. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Um. I mean. There, there, little one. The bad ones are gone. Shh. That's a golem. A nice golem, no less. A mindless automaton. Created to follow a few simple instructions. Will your fire magic be effective? Not from here. I need line of sight, and I'm not sure what kind of defenses she's got. Okay. I can sense my <clears throat> fire magic and your sword. I don't think we should go out there. Uh, so it's up to me? I'll try to find a way to distract her. We'll figure this out. We're not leaving without that kid. Thank you. I mean it. Just try and distract her, or make her look away so she doesn't see me. Okay. And I'll take care of the rest. So we're gonna have to distract her. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Interestingly, she doesn't react to us. Oh! Yeah, uh, it's a Fey thing. Just don't go through that door again. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounded ominous. Okay, so, can we talk to it? Uh, what are you? Engaging exposition mode. My function priorities are as follows. Priority one, protect the child. Priority two, nurture the child. Priority three, entertain the child. For all inquiries, please contact my creator, good fellow Robin. Uh, you're here to take care of the baby? It is my humble duty to watch over all children given to my charge. Okay, uh, we've come for the baby. No, no, I don't think so. You're not an authorized caregiver. Yes, yes, we please will. Please contact good fellow Robin to receive access. Fine. The baby was stolen from his parents. I haven't the foggiest notion what you are referring to. Nothing untoward has taken place, I assure you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. Cheerio. Anything else? No. Cheerio. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to use an item then to to do something here. Uh, Eli can't. Can he do his fire magic? Fire magic detected. Threat level high. Leave immediately. Lethal force is authorized. Okay, so we can't. I mean, can we just. Oh! Oh! Oh my heavens, what a mess! 
Oh! Huh. Is this like a dream or something? Why did he come back? Anyway, we're going to have to try and use a an item in some way. Glass bottle detected. Threat level low. Uh, okay. Glass bottle detected. So, can she look at... The glass bottle seems to be the only thing she reacts to. Please don't interfere. Thank you. Okay. So... I mean, the glass bottle is... Glass bottle detected. Threat level low. Okay. So we can't... Can we... Hang on. Let's move. <clears throat> I'm trying to... It doesn't look like we can... I don't see how that's gonna help. No. Can we, like, lob it there? I do not see how that would be useful. No. Okay. Glass bottle detected. Threat level low. Right. So can we... Can we give the glass bottle to one of them? Yeah, because she'll detect the glass bottle, I guess, and it'll I be a see. low threat. Yes, this could work. Hold it steady. Uh, okay. Now is it... No? Okay, okay. so Mandana's gone somewhere. Uh... Doesn't look like we can give that to Eli. And she detects it as a low threat, right? Oh, we're going... Oh, she's in the bottle! Oh! Oh, I see! You got her? Sliced you her up. You want the rest to be sure? With pleasure. Ah, oh, teamwork. I mean, the shoes are still there. I feel like we should destroy the shoes. Hi Elijah, we're here to rescue you. You have no idea what happened, do you, kid? Your parents are worried sick about you. Hello, baby. Did you see how we bait that mad eye scowl? Nice. Oh, uh, what? For truth, like, your great granddad is a real champagne. She's Mandana? Are you with an Irish accent now? I might have absorbed some of that wine. How much is left in the bottle? Um, none. Ah. Oh, she drank all of the wine. <laughs> I should not pick up the child. No, perhaps you shouldn't. <laughs> That's quite funny. Hi, little one. You're safe now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's me. It's family. All right, well. Let's get you home. Let's get home, kid. Go back to the, um... Go back to the mum and dad. Well, the mum at least. Hopefully this, as well the dad might come back now that we've like rescued the baby. That's what that's what I would hope anyway. Shh. It's okay, son. Oh, too fast elevator, too fast. <laughs> You're not going to throw up in here, are you? No. I just uh. Oh, that's bad. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is very different. I'll lay off. The wee one likes it. She's normally so serious. <laughs> See? Tell her truth. That's me. Jeez. I went to get one kid, but came back with two. <laughs> uh, you look natural holding that baby, Eli. I bet you're a good dad. Should we tell the parents? What did Robin want with Elijah anyway? Because I'm holding a baby? Babies are simple. I feed them, shelter them keep them alive. Eh, they're not that simple. Even keeping a baby entertained is easy. I mean, heck, they laugh at anything. Not always. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Raising them, molding them, teaching them right from wrong. Did I do that right? I have no idea. I can only hope I did. But it's out of my hands now. That's all I know. <laughs> all you can do as a parent is just do what you think is best. So what should we tell the parents? Jesus, I don't know. I think they'll just be happy to get him back. I know I would. What did Robin want with Elijah anyway? The Fae Court can't meddle in mortal affairs. Not directly. They need dupes like Hugh or Jason Grant. Right. Having a human child would let him skip all that. He'd have a willing agent and the power that comes with it. Ah, uh, no I longer. see. Not as long as I have breath. And, you know, fire. <laughs> 
All right. At last, thank heaven. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's gonna be a while before she sobers up, I think. Hi, um, Travis. Hmm? Oh, it's you. You got your kid. I was kind of lost in thought. What's up? Wait, is that? It's your son. We found him. He was in some sort of how? Where? Ice city above the uh. <laughs> Up, up there. Just be happy he was found. Should we should we tell him that Roy Fellows took him? Take him and leave the city is probably the, the best, right? It doesn't matter. Take Elijah. Go home to your wife. Move back to Florida. You'll be happier there. Trust me. I... Okay. You, you, you found my kid. I won't ask any questions. So, can I have him back? Yeah. Oh, right. Of course. Here. It's kind of a shame Eli doesn't get to tell him who he it's is. You. It's you. You've grown a bit. But those eyes, I'd recognize them anywhere. I'm gonna take you home. Right now. You need your mother. Hell, I, I need your mother. Good. That's what we wanted. Thank you. I don't know why you did this for us or how, but thank you. Anytime. In a heartbeat. Oh no, what's Kidnapper. happening? Kidnapper! Thief! What the? What? Oh no, are you kidding me? Hello. You took something that does not belong to you. You know that would be you. Mr. Fellows? That's Mr. Goodfellow to you. This is my child. I have a sense of mind to teach you a lesson. What the hell are you talking about? That's my son. No, 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 I'm sorry. A deal was made. Melcarissa, you were there. You can tell them. Uh, I'm not Malcarissa anymore. I can tell you're a sleazy lowlife who kidnaps kids. You made the deal with Hugh Kravitz. It was not his child to give. You mean Malcarissa got exercise? Oh, that is rich. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Still, it does not change the fact a deal was made by Fay Law. The child is mine. The Bobby isn't yours, your dodgy chancer. <laughs> you think you're something? Try me. I have no idea what you just said. Neither do I. Give us the babe, or I will run you through. <sighs> it is obvious none of you will give up. There's only one thing to do now. Uh, no. No! I am sorry, but it is the only way. I will have to start over with another child. Unless another deal could be made. Ooh. What kind of deal are we talking about? I've seen what happens to people who make deals with you. And end up like Hugh Kravitz and Jason Ru Well, let's, let's hear him out, because to be fair, I don't think any of us can teleport to to do something about this. Simple. The child lives. He comes back home with me. I raise him as my own. No, I In don't return, think so. In return, none of you pursue him. You will tell nobody what happened. You leave it be for as long as you live. So, do we have a deal? This is insane. No. You're insane. Yes or no? Please hurry. My arm is not as strong as it used to be. Uh, no way. You're bluffing fine. You win. There's got to be another way. You have five seconds to think of one. I'd suggest you hurry. Oh, man. I mean, I don't want the the baby to win. Uh, sorry, I don't want the baby to, to like, fall. Um, fine, you win. No way. You're bluffing. Oh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I feel like we're going to have to... I feel like we're going to have to to take the deal because I, d I don't think any of us can do anything if he if he actually drops a baby and I feel I feel like he might be actually being brutally honest but then is he going to double cross us anyway I feel like in this situation we're going to have to say he wins right and then maybe we can try and track him down later or something oh I really don't know what to do oh Fine. It is done, then. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Don't worry. I will take very good care of him. He'll want for nothing. Isn't that right, my boy? What have you got to say to that? What's going on now? What? Ooh! Get it off me! Get it off me! It's got powers! What? I... What? No way. No way! It's got the powers! <laughs> the baby's a fire mage! 
You bet he is. What? What is happening? <laughs> Elijah's a fire mage. Nice. I... Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. He'll be fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Go get him. Do us proud. Get it off me! Get it off me! Aha! I'm sorry we made a deal, remember? We can't pursue the child. How flammable are fairies anyway? But did you pick the wrong kid? To, why did you pick the wrong... We made a deal! She's right! We can't do anything! So sorry! Fine! I nullify the deal! Get it off me! <laughs> Not so fast. Promise to go back to your world and never come back. You won't interfere with mortals or mortal children ever again. Fine! Fine! Done! And... Us a favor. Nice. No, I can't. Oh, we'll leave it there then. You can and will, unless you want to see what two fire mages can do. Fine, I agree. I agree to all of it. Good. Nice. So he owes us a favor as well. Oh, the baby's got powers. That's so cool. You're a little prodigy, aren't you? I didn't come into my power until age fifty. Enjoy your respite while you can, fire mage. The hunters of Alden will be very interested in learning about that child. I'm sorry. What? What will the hunters do to it, I wonder? Oh, it will be a pleasure to find out. I probably out. wouldn't make threats like that. Blast him, Eli, or just leave him. I mean, he owes us a favor, right? So I feel like we, we leave him, honestly. Leave him? Sure. For now. We'll get the favor in. You do know I'm descended from Alden himself, right? And so is Elijah here. Yep. Remember what Alden did to humans and Fae alike? Think about that the next time you consider crossing us. Yeah. Now go and remember our favor. Yeah, remember the favor. Ha ha ha. And I'll be watching you from a distance. If you ever need me, I'll be there. Okay. Ugh. And you watch over your mom and dad too. Don't set their building on fire. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get both of you home. I wonder what would have happened if we'd said no. You're bluffing. Whether he actually would have dropped the baby. I feel like that's that's even too dark for that's like a game. But I don't know. Did my son burst into flames? Yeah. What do you think? Well, that's crazy, isn't it? Maybe. Sure sounds like it. Then, no. No, I don't think he did. Trav? Trav, is that you? When? Yes, it's me. It's both of us. But how? It doesn't matter. Elijah wants to come home. And so do I. Is that okay? Can I come home too? Don't be an idiot. Get over here. Oh, nice. I think that might be the most satisfying thing we've done so far in this whole game. They're gonna be okay. Just this once. I think it's all gonna be okay. Ah, oh, that that was seriously cool. I, I do wonder how else that could have played out. Uh, okay, Tyrion, time to wake up. I can barely move. How tired am I? A few more minutes couldn't hurt. Time to wake up. Come on, Tyrion, time to get up now. Everyone's waiting for you, let's go. Lots to do, don't waste the day. Up. Come on, let's get up. <sighs> Guess these missions are taken. Why am I walking stop walking? Huh? Hey. <sighs> More rain. Too bad I can't do anything about that. Yet. That's like the first time in a long time we've actually seen our... Why are we... What's going on? Oh, is it a dream? Uh, you are awake. Good. Uh, no, not good. I'm possessed again. Help, I'm not in control. Get this demon out of my head. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. We have a voice now. Helps. Uh, you're not talking to Turian, you're talking to Melkaressa. Please, Mondani, you know me, help me. She's a demon, listen to her voice. She sounds like... Yeah, we've never heard ourselves speak before. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, 
I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. I mean, I guess this could be... This could be a dream, right? This is going to be a really long episode, by the way. It's gone on for ages, but, you know, cool. Eli, can you hear me? Please hear me. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey. Just a sec. It's really weird hearing What's ourselves up? speak. I'm possessed again. Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. I'd come to terms with never seeing my family again. But knowing Elijah's a fire mage, that makes things complicated. Uh, I mean, I don't feel like it. Complicated? Uh, that's what we Elijah's click. your family. I can't think of anything more simple than that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, get out of my head! Ugh. Something wrong? Nothing, sorry, just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah, sure. See you there. It's weird to sort of like hear what the characters would have been hearing all the time we've been saying things in this game. Listen you, I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body and I'm not giving it up again now. Ooh. So you stay calm and you stay quiet until I figure out how to shut you up for good. When did this happen? My friends will save me, they'll figure it out. Maybe, eventually, but it'll be too late by then. So just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. Uh, that's my head, and don't you forget it. Semantics. I'm in charge now. You're just a passenger. This is weird. It doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you till then. This is really weird. Hey, you alright? You're looking a little intense there. Huh. Okay. Me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. You mean the ad for Wellard beer? That's the one. Sammy used to tell me never buy any liquor advertised on the subway. This is really uh, odd. Advice. She always did have the good stuff. All right then, guys. Do well, you, uh, ever miss the place? Sometimes, it's a little hard to think about. Yeah, I get you. Well, guys, um, I think that's where we'll leave it for this one. Well, I have no idea what's going on. This Sorry. is very weird. I shouldn't be thinking about the past so much. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't worry. A big thank you to my patrons. We all face an uncertain future. Retreating I will get my words out in a minute. Can be comforting. Do you know what? For some of us, maybe. But I know what you mean. Hmm. So they're just going to keep talking. A big thank you to my patrons are Katie's Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Kumadin. And I'll see you next time for what could be a very weird episode.